Everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. Tesla has been quietly building something behind the scenes, not just cars, not just rockets, but something even more personal. A humanoid robot that could live, work, and move among us. They call it Optimus Gen 3. And this isn't just another prototype rolling across a tech stage for applause. It's the first real attempt at building a robot for everyone. Everything Tesla's ever developed for its electric vehicles, motors, batteries, AI chips, even the Gigapress, has found a new purpose. That technology now powers Optimus. But the robot is more than just a collection of car parts. It's an entirely new chapter. Tesla has taken lessons from building cars at scale and applied them to the world of robotics, aiming not for a showcase demo, but for mass production. To understand how big this is, let's rewind a little. The original Optimus prototype was clunky and complex, made of more than 600 separate components. Screws, joints, tiny motors, each one requiring careful placement and fine-tuned alignment. That version wasn't ready for the real world. It was a technical demonstration at best. Fast forward to Gen 3, and Tesla has stripped away nearly 70% of those pieces. The chest, arms, and legs are now made as one solid cast, thanks to a combination of 3D printing and high-pressure casting technology. Where it once took hours or even days to put together, it now takes under three hours on a highly automated line. That's not a small improvement. It's a complete rethinking of how robots are built. At Giga Texas, Tesla is already doing trial runs of these new production techniques. With metal 3D printing, they've reduced material waste by almost a third compared to older CNC methods. Instead of carving out parts from blocks of metal, they build only what's needed directly from digital designs. This also cuts production time drastically. What used to take weeks now takes only a few days. And they're not building a special factory for Optimus. They didn't need to. Tesla's existing car factories already have everything required to scale robot production, robotic arms, welding machines, paint booths, and a quality control system powered by AI. They simply reprogrammed what they had. Robots that once welded car frames now weld robotic thighs and torsos. Paint lines coat the robot shells. Inspection systems that once checked Model YS for scratches now scan Optimus arms for defects. It's efficient. It's fast. And it's cheap. Tesla's decision to reuse their automotive infrastructure means they can scale up production without burning through billions of dollars. According to Elon Musk, the goal is to produce at least 5,000 robots in the first year and then ramp up to tens of thousands, and eventually millions. Unlike flashy robot startups that build one machine at a time in labs, Tesla wants Optimus on factory floors and in homes within the next couple of years. The key to this vision is cost. Tesla isn't looking to sell Optimus at luxury prices. They're aiming to beat the cost of human labor in developed countries. The target? Less than $20,000 per unit. That would make Optimus cheaper than a new car. Some internal sources even suggest costs could drop as low as 14000 with enough volume. Compare that to current industry standards. Boston Dynamic Spot, a robotic dog, costs around $75,000. Figures humanoid robot hovers closer to 100000 These machines are impressive, but they're still niche, too expensive for mass use. Optimus Gen 3 is different. It's built for scale. And one reason that's possible is because Tesla is reusing technology from their vehicles. The cameras and sensors are pulled from the same supply chains used for the Model 3. The AI chip that powers the robot's brain? It's the same full self-driving chip Tesla already installs in every vehicle. That alone saves the company millions in research and development costs. Even the robot's design makes mass production easier. The outer shell of Optimus isn't made of heavy metals. Instead, Tesla uses lightweight polymers reinforced with materials like carbon fiber. These composites are strong, flexible, and cheap to manufacture using techniques borrowed from the auto world, like injection molding and vacuum forming. This change in materials does more than lower cost. It also reduces the robot's weight. 
Optimist Gen 3 weighs around 123 pounds, lighter than many of its competitors. That means less strain on motors, longer battery life, and a much safer presence around people. The shell is non-conductive and impact-resistant, which matters when you're building something meant to share human spaces. The robot can run for hours on a single charge, thanks in part to the weight savings. And if a panel gets damaged, it can be swapped out in minutes. Tesla's modular design philosophy makes repairs quick and easy. No need to ship the whole robot back to the factory. And then there's the aesthetics. Tesla hasn't forgotten how something looks still matters. The robot's shell is coated using the same automated paint lines found in Tesla's car factories. The surface is glossy, smudge-resistant, and can be customized for different uses. Imagine a white robot for hospitals, a black one for security, or a silver one for home assistance. This flexibility allows Tesla to tailor Optimus for specific markets without having to redesign it from scratch. Behind the clean look is an advanced structure built for real-world durability. Unlike earlier versions, this shell is tough, resistant to corrosion, and built to last. Some estimates suggest it could operate reliably for 10 years or more. That's a full decade of service, an essential trait if Tesla wants to deploy millions of these machines globally. What's especially clever about Tesla's strategy is how the robot's intelligence is tied directly to its vehicles. The same AI that helps Tesla cars navigate the streets helps Optimus see and make decisions. Instead of building a new operating system for the robot, Tesla simply adapted what already works. This tight integration between software and hardware gives them an edge over competitors who are still developing their own systems from scratch. The long-term plan is even more ambitious. Tesla doesn't just want robots in factories. They want them in homes, offices, hospitals, and retail spaces, anywhere repetitive tasks are needed. Imagine a robot that can help with elderly care, sort packages in a warehouse, or prep meals in your kitchen. And all of it running on the same AI that powers your car. Optimus Gen 3 isn't some distant idea. It's real. And it's being built in the same place your Model Y came from. It's affordable, functional, and designed to be everywhere. If Tesla succeeds, they won't just be leading the robot revolution. They'll be defining it.